I want to talk to you a little bit about picking the right style of blade on your spinner bait. Uh, get this question a lot. A uh, spinner bait's an awesome bait. You cover a lot of water, you can get a reaction strike. It's really snagless and weedless. Super bait. But picking the right blade shape is a really important thing. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the criteria that I use. Uh, you know, the one is water clarity. Uh, water clarity for sure is something I think about when picking blade style. And in clear water situations, without a doubt, my favorite blade style or blade shape is a willow blade. Um, ultra clear water, that willow blade lets me allow to reel the spinner bait fast and that style of blade is perfect for that fast retrieve. Stained water, when the water is not clear and it's not dirty, my number one blade choice is an Indiana blade. And an Indiana style blade is kind of like a willow, but it's a little more rounded toward the bottom. It's teardrop shaped. And it's perfect in stained water conditions. A little bit more vibration, but not quite as much flash as that willow. And then the last condition is dirty water, muddy water, heavily stained water. In those conditions, I'm going to go with a Colorado blade. And a Colorado blade is the roundest blade out there. It's almost totally round. It's got a deep cup on it. And that Colorado blade is going to allow for maximum vibration. So the first thing I think about for sure is water clarity. The other thing I'm thinking about is forage. Um, and, and you know, I try to imitate the blade style to mimic the forage. When the fish are feeding on long, slender forage species, minnow, shad, little tiny alewives, uh, little herring, I like a willow blade because it's long like the forage. When I'm fishing a bait and I'm fishing toward the bottom where I'm imitating a bluegill or more of a rounded panfish species, a lot of times I'll go with that rounded blade. So two things when you're picking your blade styles. Think about water clarity, think about forage, pick either a willow in Indiana or Colorado, and you're gonna get even more bites on your favorite spinnerbait.